Okay, guys, here we are. Thanks for watching the Jacobitz Learning Group's video. We are the parent company of USA Teens today. Uh, try to think of the math questions on this exam as fun. Let's just practice. Okay, look. Uh, let's begin with a simple one, 0 0.65. Read the question. It's asking you to change 0 0.65 to a decimal, not to a fraction. Keep this as simple. You should be under two minutes to do. Okay. All you have to do is know your place values. And if you don't know what to call them, you know that you're supposed to move the decimal. Okay. Uh, you're not to move the decimal. You're supposed to move the sp spaces. Excuse me. So you started out over here. You have to move the number of spaces. So from five, which is in the hundredths place, over to the 6, which is in the tenths place. And you have to get rid of this decimal, so that's in the decimal place, over 0, which is to the units place. And then you're moving again. So you moved it two places, put it here. There's your answer. Two ways to do what is 3 and 3 fourths percent. You already know that 3 fourths is 75%. You can do it that way and just keep it here. The problem is you have to remember that you don't go 3.75 because it's asking you as a percent that gets hard. So why don't we just do some logic here? With logic, the alternative method, we can check. you can also check yourself if you want to do this, is to go ahead and treat this mixed numeral fraction this way. You have 4 times 3 plus 3 is 15. So 4 times 3 is 12. That's done here. Plus 3 over here is your 15. And so as you know, you are adding that number. You go here, and 15 is on top of the 4. Now, this line here says divide 4 into 15. So 4 goes over here because you're dividing this number into this number. That's 15. And then 4 times 3 is 12. You have a remainder. So you put your decimal here. Okay? And then you have to add a 0. Bring that down, and that's 30. 4 does not go directly into 30. It's 4 times 7 is 28. Two spaces down, that's 20. 4 goes into 25 times 3.75. Wait a minute. Your choices probably are going to give you a distractor. Okay, so make sure that you understand that because it's a percent, you have to bring this over. If you don't remember to bring it over on your own, Remember that when you are dealing with percents, you're either dealing with tens or a hundred because most times you will not have problems that have a thousand percent. They're mostly dealing with a hundred. How do you know to multiply it by a hundred? Because you have three spaces. Okay? You have, if you were to get rid of this zero, ones, tens, hundreds. But since this is here, this is now tenths, hundredths, and this is your unit place. So since you have three digits here, you go 3.75 times 100. That now gives you 375. This number here, 375, is before the decimal. That now becomes your percent. And here it was on the slide. It's 375%. You can review this later. Okay, same thing here. When we look at how do you change this decimal to a fraction, you have a tenths place here, a hundredths place here. You guys should remember this from elementary school, and if you forget it from time to time, that's okay. Just remember that when you are dealing past the de decimal, you do not start out with the once place. There's no such thing. It's the tenths place. So you go ahead and you note that, and if you make a mistake, you know that as you go over, you're talking about cents here. This will be one cent, okay, and, 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 and just try to remember what you You have zero when you get ready to convert. You take this tenths place and go zero over ten. Now, why are you doing tenths? Because you don't have a one until you get over here. 
and we're dealing right here with um, here after after the decimal so zero this is here that's in the hundredths place for a reason and that is called the hundredths place for a reason so therefore you have seven over a hundred now you have a setup here you have zero over 10 plus 7 over 100. I know you're going to say, hey, wait a minute, you can't do that. That's already zero. It's not possible. That's okay. Go ahead and do the math. And what happens is uh, 10 goes into it's, it's 10 goes into itself 100 times. Okay, I'm sorry. 10 goes into 10. 10 goes into 100 10 times. Sorry about that. But 10 times zero is zero. You're getting a common denominator here, which is going to be 100. So then you have 7 over 100 here, and this and that. When you get ready to add this up, it's 0 over 700. You cannot reduce any further. There's your answer. Seven over Number four, we're about to wind this one down just to keep this short. Um, here we are. We have what is... 62.5 is a fraction. Again, try to just move it over. You go over here one time, two times, and then you have uh, this here. You're trying to move this decimal over as far as you can behind the numbers. You have 625. That's three digits. Tenths, hundredths, thousands. Or you can think ones, tens, hundreds, but mostly tenths hundreds, thousands, it's over the thousandth place. And then you just do a simple reduction of your fraction. Um, I did it two times to keep it simple. Five goes into 625, 125 times. Five goes into 1,000, 200 times. And you had 125 over 200. You reduce it again, it's 25 over 40. So 5 eighths is your answer. If you have any other questions, here's two emails. This is the manager's email. This is the uh, business website. You can also do jacobitslearning at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching.